Hey Libra, how are you doing? This reading is for Libra for the week of October the 21st to the 27th. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And Libra, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website and you can check out the options there. What is going on for the fabulous and most beautiful balanced babes? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time, the seven of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. What's coming towards you? The Ace of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. What you are focused on is the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. In your blocked and challenged position is the Hierophant, Major Arcana for Taurus. And your outcome is the Four of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Okay. Libra, let's clarify this and find out what is going on. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is your end-all, be-all, your big old house, your white picket fence. It is also legacy, luxury, abundance, prosperity, being in good company, a commitment. As you can see, there's a new ace here, a King of Pentacles in your focus, which is commitment. The Hierophant, which is in your blocked and challenged position, it speaks of commitment. And present time, you have the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands is something catching you off guard or by surprise. It actually could be a new door or a new investment opening up to you. Or somebody wants to invest in you or you are the entrepreneur, business owner, businessman. It's like crunching the numbers or you're saving up for something significant. This is also deflecting or somebody who is spiteful and resisting to change. Because in the blocked and challenged position is the Hierophant. And this could be righteousness and stubbornness. Or there is an energy of a commitment blocking or something about standing your ground. Standing up to adversity and drawing a line in the sand, saying enough is enough, and to reprioritize. Reprioritizing things and what are obligations to you. So there could be something about teacher-student learning, or there's something about teacher, chorus, class, but that can also be like government agency jobs, institutions, ceremonies, religion, relig religious beliefs. Let's see what the Seven of Wands is. There's something catching you off guard or by surprise. And you could go a little bit on the defensive side. But I would just say stand your ground. Stand up for what you believe in. No roadblock, no speed bump, no hiccup, no hurdle is going to get in your way of what you want to achieve. Yeah, there's like an obstacle or something. And the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is mastery of craft, paying attention to the detail and putting in the quality of work. And there's a line you need to draw here because see how in this Eight of Pentacles, it says, do not open. Is somebody wanting to open up a can of worms here? Or there's something about... Um, standing up to another visual another individual at work or somebody who you work with this person could be a little bit spiteful or deflects deflects puts off yeah see the ace of pentacles see how beautiful these gems and jewels are commitment and work or there's some kind of hurdle at work or responsibility or this person's really hard to work with. They might be really stingy here. Or you might want to withdraw. And the hair font is about commitment. Ace of Pentacles is a windfall coming in. It's something tangible. It's something you can taste, touch, and feel and get your hands on it. There's also something catching you off guard or by surprise. And possibly a new work opportunity. 
or it's a need for you to reprioritize and work on yourself at this time, make sure that you are, you know, focusing on your health, wealth and happiness. And King of Pentacles is King Pen. So it's somebody who is either making really great money or like um, crunching the numbers on something. It says do not open. So what is this? Something not opening until something is sorted? What is this Ace of Pentacles? And the moon. Major Arcana for Cancer. I'll sort that as Pisces. Something coming full circle, full cycle. Or there's an opportunity out of the blue, but it's quiet. Or you have to be quiet. It's something you've been dreaming of. And see how this bird is dangling some kind of key. So a key investment. Or there's something about secrecy, mystery. Or there's going to be a need for you to take a little bit of a risk here. Because the moon card is the comfort zone. But everything you want, dream of, and desire is in the unknown, the unfamiliar territory. So like an investment coming in out of the blue, but it says do not open. Or why can't you open it? Six of Swords. Getting out of choppy waters into more smoother ceilings. The light at the end of the tunnel. Or travel. Because in the blocked and challenged position is somebody who's stubborn and ruthless maybe. Or somebody feels quite righteous. It could be a, like a leader or somebody who's higher up. Like uh, in the hierarchy. Or... Doing things conventionally by the book. And maybe that this is some kind of like unconventional taboo approach. Being a little bit of the rebel. A hidden investment. Is somebody hiding money at work? Or is this a new investment that you're keeping quiet about it? What is this? Uh, who's this kingpin here? Yeah, like this is stag energy, leader, warrior, and the ten of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And the ten of wands is frustration, overwork, and burnout. You have big shoes to fill here. But see how this king of pentacles is looking right at this Hierophant. This person looks kind of like a pope. Right down at that guy down there. And Ten of Wands is an energy of needing to unload baggage and burdens. This is delegating or off-duty heavier responsibility. So ask your friends to run errands or ask for help here. And there's something about a work situation that you're working with, but somebody is like being deflective. Like they're um, not being responsible here or something. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is to stick a fork in it. I'm done here. That can also be betrayal or feeling defeated. It could be an ego death. Which is a really beautiful thing because it really softens yourself as a person. And with this Ten of Wands, this could also be heavy financial investment, heavy opportunity with commitment. Or it's like a heavy one-sided situation here at work or in a commitment. It's like carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. But not everything can come with you. So there's a need to purge because this is hoarding. This is also the miser. This is a uh, constipation. There needs to be more water here. 
more water. But the new opportunity that's coming in is more water. Or a fl uh, it's more flow. This is also your intuition. Peaking your curiosity of some sort. Ten of Swords. Who's this Hierophant? Or what is this Hierophant? So you have... Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This is Capricorn's son. But that's also somebody who is stingy or a need to think outside of the box. Because this person only sees black and white. So maybe that this is the thing that's happening. So somebody can't think outside of this or that. But it's the gray area that's actually going to bring in some kind of new opportunity or some kind of like heavy... Commitment, heavy kingpin. Or you have really heavy responsibilities and a need to share the workload. But when you do, you're finding it very challenging to ask for help at work. I don't know what this is. It says, do not open. Do not open. What? Somebody's not opening up here. And the three of wands. Yeah, something's not growing. And the Three of Wands, you can see this. Oh, look at this. You see how here they have this bone and it's almost like they're charging through this door. Keys open door. But the Three of Wands is expansion, strategy, and making plans to take your next step. Or waiting for some kind of, or somebody here has really high expectations. Almost like perfectionism. Or they have high expectations of how you should think, act, be. Is this person trying to mold you? Here's the rules. And yeah, this is usually where you plane, train, automobile. Or travel, or there's something about distance, a commitment at a distance. Or there's something in the blocked and challenged position of uh, righteousness. Or somebody who might be a little bit full of themselves, I'm not sure. It feels like it's higher up. So something about like government or um, an institution. Like maybe you can't climb any higher in some kind of branch or institution. Like if you work for the bank, you know you're already at tipping point, like you're at the highest ranking. And then something about like what you resist at work or there's somebody who's spiteful and resistant to change. To change their ways or to change their views because this is black and white or the miser. See how this person's like sinking in quicksand? So, but something is sinking ship. Um, again, there's, this is about your ships coming in, but it's in your blocked and challenged position. Is it for you to get on a ship, plane, train, automobile, or there's something not growing anymore? There's a three, this is a five, five and three together equals eight. And then, so what goes around comes back around to you. Four of Cups and the Star, bored, discontent, and dissatisfied. The milk has expired. It also is definitely complacency. You've overstayed in a situation. Let's see what this Four of Pentacles is, because the Four of Pentacles is um, physically withdrawn. So you've already checked out of a situation. And Kingpin, heavy work situation or heavy financial investment and the three of cups pisces cancer scorpio energy that's funny there's two men here and then there's one woman so it's almost like you're withdrawing from one stingy boss or one somebody who's selfish, self-centered, very greedy, only gives you the time of day when they feel like giving you the time of day. Um or there's withdrawing from third parties. 
because the three of cup three of wands and the three cups i'm not saying there's a third party here the world something about portal birthing closing out some kind of karmic cycle starting something new freedom feeling on top of the world this is also achievement and tying up loose ends and the three of cups is like suppress feelings or you have to be quiet you're saving up your money for some kind of investment or there's this is good news worth celebrating and somebody's not telling you or you're not telling anybody about this it's like buying a, a storefront and then being quiet about it like that's your new door that's opening yeah do not open and it's like somebody trying to like knock down the door or take this person down who is that person it doesn't actually have to be a Taurus, but this is Taurus energy. That's Taurus energy. Uh, the Eight of Pentacles is Virgo energy, Sagittarius energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, and Cancer. And then the Ten of Wands is Sag energy. So you could be dealing with those signs or you are embodying that energy. Sagittarius is flexible and happy-go-lucky, optimistic. And you know they take on a lot of responsibility or a lot of work but here this is like some kind of suppressed feelings or saving up your money for something significant or withdrawing from a friend a family member something about socialization being stingy um you need more socialization And move away from any kind of like greedy friends. Because the Three of Cups is like a celebration, getting together with friends, family, loved ones. And a secret investment coming in out of the blue or you're dreaming about it. Man, Libra, you've been having really good readings. F, fear. It will lie to your face. And that's the moon card. It could be an anxiety, worry. Stop obsessing. You are not the effing center of the universe. <laughs> These cards are really cute and cheeky. Be effing grateful. Shish could be so much worse. This does talk a lot about stability and money here or like commitment, three of wands. It's not, it's not expanding. Somebody has um, constipation or has withdrawn from socialization or some, some kind of like friend. Have you eaten... Have you eaten? You are acting like a big arse baby. You need food in your belly. Eat a taco. Um, again, here, watch the burnout with work. Uh, make sure you take your breaks because that is showing that you respect yourself. It's like, do not open that can of worms or something. Or, yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. It's whatever this hair font in Three of Wands. It's not growing. Or there's a commitment at a distance or this opportunity, but you have to get out of your comfort zone to see it. Or there's an intuition, like you're uh, an opportunity being quiet, money, spirit, heartache over what you no longer have. Uh, four of Pentacles can also be gripping and holding on to a person, place, or a situation, or like hoarding money, um, hoarding stuff. Like it could actually be physical stuff. Like you have too much uh, clothes, you have too much stuff. Because this person could be very materialistic or there's something about materialism. Ear good news. But again, it's like 
You got to be quiet about it. Older woman. Dealings or relationship with an older woman. Yoke. Feeling tied down or frustrated. Who is this older woman? Because this person, yeah, King of Pentacles, looks quite sophisticated. Mountain Road. You are on the road to success. And Weeping Willow. Family Sorrow. Is somebody in your family here? Being selfish and greedy or only gives you the time of day when they feel like giving you the time of day. So I would uh, not socialize with that person. People will show you their true colors and treat fair with you with your family and great happiness. Maybe you're making new friends. But again, don't be stingy. Open up a little bit because that's my constipation card. Like let things flow. Or you're, you might be dealing with another couple here. Something about another couple. Harp, great happiness. Yeah, Libra. This looks really beautiful. It's like an opportunity coming in out of the blue. And you've got the key. Or the key element is your intuition. Trust your gut feeling about this new opportunity. It says do not open. But it's like bursting open a door. And then somebody has been resisting to change or resisting, deflecting, deflecting, putting something off. Um... And the hierarchy or righteousness. Um, somebody who uh, has really high expectations of how you should think, act, and do things. Um, a little bit stubborn. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe. And Libra, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website and you can check out the options there. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.